guys, it's Mia. So, today I'm going to be doing how I edit my Instagram pictures. This was super requested, so I thought I'd do it. Um, it was requested by Lemons and Peanuts on Instagram, so shout out to you. So, um, yeah, I thought I'd do it. Make sure you check out my Instagram and Twitter and blog channel. Everything will be linked down below. So, let's get started. I almost just hit myself in the face. Alright, so first I'm going to do overlays because I've probably had this most requested and I actually filmed this video once before yesterday and I just didn't like the way it turned out but I actually did this in the video yesterday um, but I guess I'll show you guys how to do this one. So the apps I use most is probably Afterlight, Square Ready, VSCO Cam and then also PixArt and We Heart It and Pic Collage. I know that's a lot but um, I actually do use all of them probably almost equally. Afterlight is the most used one. Um, but first, I'm just going to actually edit the actual picture. Just make sure it looks nice and stuff. But I'm just going to um, go on Afterlight and grab that picture. So this is the um, original picture. It's just a picture of a latte from Earth Cafe. So I'm just going to use that. And one thing I love about Afterlight is their brightness setting. Uh, my friend, actually Sierra, like let me know about this. Um, but the brightness is like amazing on this. So it's not, it's actually different on like VSCO cam, so first I just brighten it up a little bit on Afterlight, and then I actually save it. So there are different filters on VSCO cam, so I like to use that. Um, so I'm just going to grab that picture that I brightened up a little bit. And once I imported that, my favorite filter probably to use is T1, and it just kind of gives like a cool vintage effect. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and save that. Alright, so now for the overlays, um, that's what the like kind of design pattern is, like the white design. Um, they're called overlays, so I go on We Heart It, and I just search overlays, and basically they have like a bunch of different ones. Um, the ones that I use are the ones the back or black background and then the white design, and I actually grab this one. So you just want to make sure you save it and um, keep it in your picture album thing. And then I go to PixArt, which actually I use to overlay the pictures. So you just want to upload your first coffee mug picture. Alright, so once I have that uploaded, I'm just going to click Add right here. And then I'm going to add that photo, the um, overlay photo. Alright, so it's obviously black and you can't see through it, but what we're going to do is first kind of just estimate um, where you want to put it, and then right here where it says normal, you just want to click the little triangle and then go to screen, and that's just going to make the picture kind of like, I don't know, the opposite. It's going to make the white like clear, or no, the black clear. So yeah, you just want to adjust it to your liking, and I just made it like that, I guess. It takes like a few times to kind of get through it. And then just save it. Alright, so that picture is obviously a rectangle and that's not going to fit in the um, Instagram without being cropped. So I just go to square ready and that's basically going to fit that picture into a square and make it look like you uploaded it in a rectangle kind of style without cropping it. So just going to grab that photo. And then what you do is basically just put it where you like it. So you can put it in the corner, bottom corner, or centered, whatever. I actually kind of like it in the corner sometimes. It just gives my whole profile kind of different effect. Um, but you can just use like the little settings right here if you like. But I'm just going to save it kind of in the middle, whatever. It doesn't really matter. And then just put it in your camera roll. And then I just put it in um, I don't know, JPEG, like the most high quality one, I think, just because I like my pictures to be as high quality as possible. And then that's actually ready to upload and that's already in a square because that's what the Square Ready app is for. So, so there we go and that's ready. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing filters after this because it changes the white effect and it makes it look like it's actually just a regular square picture. So once you upload it, it's just going to look like this and it's just going to look like you uploaded like a rectangular picture and people are like, oh, how'd you do that? Um, so that's the picture that I just edited. So next I'm going to show you this one, and it's kind of like a mirrored effect, and also a little bit of editing on the picture, obviously. Um, but the only thing is that a lot of people use Mirrorgram, which, I mean, is useful, um, but the only thing is it crops it in a square, which I don't like, and you don't really have that much control over what you do. So first just grab the picture, and then I'm just going to edit it on Afterlight. 
Alright, so this is the photo that I actually started off with, but obviously I don't want all of this in it. So I actually just went ahead and cropped it, and I started off with this. So, once you grab it, um, just make sure you edit it to your liking. I actually just brightened it up a little bit, I believe. And then I did a black and white filter, so you can just go ahead and pick one of these filters. Um, the horse one is like the original filters, I guess. So, I don't know, they're all kind of similar, so I'm just going to get coal, which I feel like was the best looking black and white one. So, basically just save that. Alright, so once you save that, you also want to save a copy of the reversed image, or like the flipped image, the mirrored image, whatever you want to call it. So, um, just go to this little, I don't know, icon right here, and then flip it. So once you flip it, just save that one also. So you want two copies, one flipped and one regular. And then you want to go ahead and go to Twin Collage, and this is where you're going to um, start the mirrored effect. So pick the one that is going to be on the left first. So that would be this one. And then once you do that, you just want to click this little plus sign, which is just going to add another picture, and click that one, or the one that's on the right. So just save it, basically, and that's honestly it. You just save it to your camera roll, or, no, my bad. My bad. Click the wrong one, but you just want to save it to your camera roll. And it's actually already going to be framed, so you don't need to go to square ready or anything like that. Um, just click the little square right here, and it's going to save it. Or you can just save it to the rectangular picture if you want to, I don't know, put it in the corner of square ready or something. And that's actually going to be ready to upload. So that's actually ready to upload and that's what it looks like and I think that's probably the best way to do mirrored um, image effect. Alright, so next I've had a lot of questions about this one because it kind of has like a Polaroid effect, but it's obviously not an actual Polaroid picture, it's just a filter. So what you want to do is actually go on Afterlight and that's all on Afterlight for this one. So just grab your picture, actually no, go on Afterlight and just grab your picture. So this is the starting picture, not cropped, not edited, obviously. Um, so you just want to grab that, and I just rotated it because obviously I'm going to have it right side up. Um, and then I adjusted the brightness just a teensy bit. And I totally forgot what um, filter I used, but honestly just like pick any filter. I'm just going to go with coral, I think it looks nice. What you want to do is just go to this little frame thing right here and then click instant film. And the only thing is this actually costs a little bit of money. I think it's 99 cents for the film, which I totally think is worth it. So I'm just going to go to this one and that's just the normal Polaroid. And you can adjust it to make sure it fits in frame and stuff. So I'm just gonna put it like that and save it. So once you save the picture, just going to go on square ready and make sure that's in a square. So again, I just adjust it and fit it to frame or whatever you like and that's how you do it. So just save it, and then once you upload it, it's just going to be like that. Look how many likes it has. 1337. If you know that reference, then um, you're cool. <laughs> so next I'm going to show you how I do like my tilted, um, not tilted, my, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but like the pictures that I put side to side, kind of like this, and this one was tilted. Um, I'm also going to show you... Let me see. This one or this one. Just kind of like the ones that I put side to side. And that's what I actually um, I edited that on Pit Collage. So, first, I'm going to show you how to do this one because it's honestly kind of the same um, deal. So, you just want to grab two of your pictures that you like. Um, I kind of just made like two of different faces. I'm just picking this one because I um, kind of just did like two random faces, but. Just gonna pick um, just any random filters, really. You can pick whatever you like. I'm just going to go to Relic, I guess. No, not that one. <laughs> Breeze. Okay, so I'm going to Breeze. Just save it, whatever. Then just grab your second picture and actually do the same filter. Or something cool that you can do is actually do it completely black and white. So you have like one normal one, one black and white, and that's what I did with um, the one that I showed you earlier. But for this one, since I kind of want like a interesting effect or whatever, I'm just going to grab um, the same, what's it called, filter, whatever, and then what you want to do is just grab those two pictures and go to pick collage. And I actually did this earlier, so I'm just going to start over, um, but grab those two pictures, and you can actually pick two at a time, and just upload those, and what you want to do 
is just center them to your liking. You can do this way and this way. You can kind of just tilt them, turn them, whatever you want. Um, but what I did was just put it up or right side up. And just do your best to center it, make it straight, all that jazz. Um, obviously it's not going to be perfect for this video because I'm just showing you guys how I did it. Um, but just save it. Your process than you'd probably think. Um, but next I just go to square ready. And then I'm going to upload that picture that I saved on Pic Collage. Like this, I think it looks cool or whatever. I'm going to make it a little tiny bit smaller because I'm going to be tilting it later. So I'm just going to save that. So the tilting effect is actually on the regular Instagram um, filter kind of thing. So just upload that picture and just hit crop. And what you want to do is just click this thing right above the first filter and then there's going to be a little tilting thing. So just tilt it to your liking. You can do it left or right, whatever. Um, so basically just did that. Saved it and uploaded it. Oh, just hit my elbow. <laughs> um, but that's it. So that's what you got there. And if you want to do something like this, basically just make the other picture black and white, put it side to by or side by side, and then you don't have to tilt or anything. And that's honestly how I get every single one of these um, side by side ones. This one's just the same picture, same filter, um, and that's how I collage like a lot of my things like this. And yeah, so that's it. So thank you. So oh, oh, oh. Oh, so thanks for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Everything will be linked down below. My Twitter, Instagram, vlog channel, and all that jazz will be linked down below. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!